2008 Olympic silver medalist and three-time NCAA champion. And I'm a game changer. 17-time All-American, two-time NCAA balancing champion, NCAA all-around champion, world championship team gold medalist, Olympic silver medalist. When you hear all of your accolades, which one stands out the most? Oh, that's such a good question. The very last NCAA championship title uh, all around that I won was special because it was the most nerve wracking I have ever been for a competition ever. Because I knew win or lose, I would never have another chance. And it was my last opportunity to compete in the sport that I love. So to finish on such a high note, I think, you know, that one takes a cake in a special way. Yeah, what was the moment when you realized you had accomplished what you had been hoping for? The last routine that I competed was beam. And it became my favorite event, my best event, but it actually used to be such a nemesis. Working through a lot of mental toughness as an athlete and then also just being able to celebrate you know, my own career with myself on the balance beam, the last routine that I did. Can you speak a little bit to the mental side of being terrified but pushing through? At a young age, you have to have the mental fortitude it takes to become a champion. And so for me, I feel like, you know, I wasn't always the flashiest gymnast. I wasn't the fl most flexible gymnast, but I was a workhorse and I was a really icy competitor. You know, the way I got ahead in my sport was really my mental toughness and knowing that I was going to make my routines no matter what, that the team could count on me. And so focusing on how to strengthen that every single day and kind of try to simulate a competition or the Olympics um, while you're competing is, is a tough task, but you get really good at visualization. I bet. Along with all of the many accomplishments in your career, another thing you've added to that list is founder. Tell us a little bit about what that is. I think, you know, creating Beam Queen Bootcamp is maybe one of the most proud things that I've been able to do in the sport. It's an inspirational community of gymnasts that are meant to inspire one another. Gymnasts come from all around the world. It's a two-day boot camp event helping gymnasts improve their physical and their mental techniques on beam. Seeing them come in and accomplish a skill or do something for the first time and watching them have their aha moment I think is really special for me. But I think getting the parent emails a few weeks later of saying, you know, my daughter has had a new sense of confidence the past few weeks and it's really helped her in that way. I think the life skills component of it is something that is a little bit unique and, and a part of it that I'm the most proud of. You are such a game changer in the sport and for young athletes overall. What does it mean to you when you hear the word game changer? What is a game changer to you? I think a game changer to me is, is a trailblazer. Somebody that's you know unafraid to make a difference in their space no matter what, and someone that is fearless. And it's ironic because you know as such a fearful athlete, I feel like I've had to work through a lot of those fears as a young athlete, and because of that, I feel like I'm much stronger as an adult. And that's what I want to pass on to the next generation. In your career and looking back at your long career and your life, who would you say is your game changer? feel fortunate enough to have had a few game changers at different points in my life. And I think the very first ones are my parents because they really did tell me each and every day that I could do anything I set my mind to. And I had some like lofty, crazy dreams. So the fact that they didn't laugh at me, they didn't belittle me as a young kid, they, they really believed in me. And then I think second up is my Olympic coach. His name is Peter. And as much as we used to butt heads in the gym sometimes, you know, looking back, he was always empowering me to speak for myself, to be a team player, and to have respect for myself, my teammates, and the equipment. The last game changer in my life that I can think of is during my college career. And she was my college head coach. Her name was Miss Val. She really is a life coach more than a gymnastics coach. I think if she was hitting, sitting here right here, she would say the same thing. And um, I think all the life lessons that I learned before coming to college, she really brought that to a forefront and threw it in your face and made you realize, you know, this is what you're learning and this is how you're gonna use it in the real world. And this is how you're gonna be successful. 
so many young athletes, gymnasts, all of the above look up to you and I'm sure think I want to be her one day. What would you tell them? Don't be me. <laughs> be, be the best versions of you. And I think, you know, with social media and with so much, I think it's great to look up to people and to have mentors. But I think realizing what you bring to the table as a young athlete, recognizing your unique gifts and figuring out, you know, these are my goals and it's not my mentor's goals, it's not my coach's goals, it's not my parents' goals. These are my personal goals and find that confidence within them and figure out how to practice that each and every day. You know, kids are so good at, at practicing their sport and conditioning, but that sort of mental training, I think is just as important, not just in, in gymnastics, but in every single sport. Thank you so much for taking the time to sit down with me. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. This is amazing.